For the next two minutes, we'll learn how to write and execute SQL queries in DataCloud. Within a workspace, select your primary DataCloud object from the left pane. You can also add additional DataCloud objects and query across multiple objects using SQL joins where allowed. Plan your query in advance and only click the Run Query button when you're satisfied. And it's also recommended that you use the Limit Clause to prevent long-running queries. For one thing, consumption fees are based on the number of records processed, and fees are charged every time you click the Run Query button to test your query. Remember that you're only paying for what you use in Data Cloud, so you're rewarded for using resources efficiently. Data Cloud makes it easy to query your data and to keep your queries organized. Click on the arrow to the left of any object, and you'll be given the option to create a query with primary fields, for example. Each query can be created in a new tab, making it easy to keep track of your work. And you can always save your queries using the Save button in the top right of the screen, so that you can come back to your queries later at any time. Query workspaces are available from within the Query Editor menu tab. The Query Editor is built right into Data Cloud Platform, so there's no need to install a package or run queries in external tools anymore. From within Data Cloud, you'll navigate to the Query Editor tab to create one or more query workspaces. Notice that each workspace is data space aware, which also means it's not possible to query across workspaces. The list view option allows you to view all query editors or just your own. That's because the editor is a collaborative tool. You can even share queries with other users and collaborate using Chatter. Hope you enjoyed these two minutes. You can find more Data Cloud content in my new O'Reilly book titled Hands-On Salesforce Data Cloud.